I'm going to show you how to play So Real by Jeff Buckley. I love playing this one because the chords, once you've got them under your fingers, are just really nice. Um, it's a bit cathartic if you like to have a sing along. I can't sing this song, but it doesn't stop me. So here we go. We've got middle finger is going to go on the 11th fret on the G string. First finger is going to go on the 10th fret on the B. And you're going to go and you're going to slide that up a few frets. So it, we've got um, 14 and 13 respectively. So we're going. And the ring finger is going to come down on the 15th fret. Do that. And then we're going to walk down. So we're going to, on the D string, we're going to move down from the 15th to the 14th. We're going to go. And then bar on the 12th. Put your middle finger down on the A string on the 13th fret. Bar on the 12th, but on the A, you know, from the A string. Ring fingers going down on the 14th fret on the G. And then we're going to do this. Here we go. Now the verses, we're going to... Um, I'm going to bar on the ninth fret in the middle two strings, the, our D and our G. I'm going to put my little finger down on the eleventh fret on the B string. So we've got. Love, let me sleep tonight. Little finger because I can shift it up one fret. So we go from this one. Love, let me sleep tonight on your couch. And then. And this chord shape's great because we've just gone. From there, I'm just putting two, I'm just putting my remaining, my loose two fingers down. Middle finger is going on the 10th fret, which is a D note. And uh, my ring finger is going down on the G string here. So there's like a finger going on each fret across four frets there. So we've got. So bass note and then a bit of a strum. Slide all of them down to the fifth fret. So again, the fingers stay in the same position relative to each other. Slide it down to a G, an open G. Slide that up to the eighth fret. Slide it down a fret to the seventh. So all together, the verse is. Love, let me sleep tonight. On your couch. And then repeat that, and that's your verses kind of thing. And then we're going to go into our chorus, which fabulously, after you've done, uses that shape that we've got here, you know, this, this cool, that shape, only the root notes, a C note, so it's here on the eighth fret. And then the so real bit, you're going to slide all your fingers down. So the root notes on the uh, the uh, the low E string on the fifth fret. So it's an A note. And then the other fingers are going to fall, you know, slide together. So we're five, don't play it, don't play the A string. And then four, five, five, and you're going to. Oh, that was so. back there for your verses. Cool. After that, you've got another chorus, and then you've got this weird atonal bit where, I, when I'm playing along to the CD or whatever, I tend to just kind of... Watch the acoustic live version somewhere, find it on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description, but um, watch that because, uh, you know, they do whatever the hell they want, or any live version for that matter. It's just an atonal weird bit before going, I love you. <laughs> and we're back in our verses. But I'm afraid to love you. And then you've got another chorus after that bit, after, you know, after that full verse. Uh, Oh, that was so real. 
And then for the end, it does this incredible, beautiful, cathartic, fun to play thing uh, where it's like. <laughs> Okay, so it's it's really, really fun anyway, because you can really bash away at your guitar. Uh, but to play it, we're gonna go take our first finger on the second fret on the A string, which is a B note. We're gonna go. So two, four on the A string. Open D. And then we're gonna do a G. At least the G note, I'm doing this. The rest of them kind of open because this is really like just thrashy, cathartic. Ah, oh, it's so real. And then the first finger's coming down on the second fret on the G string, and then the ring finger's coming down on the third fret on the B. You want to slide all those fingers up to the seventh fret. Well, you know, that's going to be on the sixth when we slid it up. Slid it up. So here we go. And can you just thrash around? So I, I tend to do like a slick my lip. So, so I put my little finger on the eighth fret, for example, like a, and then they're all on the seventh. So seventh on the uh, low E and the G string before I slide back to the next chord sort of thing. So I'm going. And then we're going to come back to this uh, uh, a beautiful open G minor kind of chord where ring finger, third fret on the open E. Don't play the A string, screw that guy. Um, and we're going to go open 3-3, three, three. so 3, don't play it, open 3-3, three, three, so. Beautifully, this slides up. So again, another amazing sliding chord. We're going to go from the third fret to the fifth fret and between it, so we go. song is over and you've warbled as much as you want to warble. I hope that that helps and I'll see you next time. <laughs>